seen to live on the road looking like a black gypsy in a caravan of bros. What's up guys, the Hackspot here and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Mac feel brand new. Oh boy, what I'm going to be showing you guys is going to speed up your Mac and free up a butt ton of space. So if that sounds interesting, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so here we are on my Mac and lately it has been feeling quite sluggish and slow when I'm like video editing and have many tabs open, stuff like that. So I started to get tired of it and that's kind of why I might have some dents in my laptop from before. <laughs> Not really, but this made me want to update my Mac and upgrade to the newer models. But at the same time, I didn't want to upgrade because I did not want to live the dongle life with the new MacBooks. I like having my ports. So I discovered this program over here called Clean My Mac X or 10. Your Mac as good as new, free up gigabytes of space, speed up your Mac, uninstall unwanted apps, and stay malware free. So it basically has everything. So I'm going to go ahead and download this application. You guys can go ahead and do that using the link down below in the description. But anyways, there it is now downloaded on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to install it. Let's go ahead and skip this because it's perfectly safe. All right, and here we are. Let's go ahead and install it. Simply drag and drop it to the applications folder. And there it is. Now let's go ahead and right click on it. Click on open and it will open up the application. So it is a great program. The interface is absolutely amazing to the point where I docked the application in my dock over here. That means it's a good app. So here we are. You guys can see the interface is very beautiful. I really love the interface. Let's go ahead and uh, eject that. We don't need more. See, like my Mac is lagging. Do you see this, guys? I'm going to enter my license on this computer. All right, and there you go. It is activated. Now, you guys can try this out before you actually use it, and there are some features available, but it's so worth it just to buy it because it has so many features that you guys will want to use. So first off, we have a smart scan. That's where we are right now. So I'm going to click on scan, and this will basically clean up a bunch of files that you don't need. It'll add protection and speed up your Mac. It's insane. Look at this interface, guys, and it's just so easy to use. I love it. So let's go to wait and let's see what happens. Okay, just like that, it had a nice chime and it now says scan complete. I'm gonna close out of this. You can see it freed 9.86 gigabyte with just a very quick scan. The protection is there, no threats found, and it took three tasks out that are unneeded to speed up my Mac. So that is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna again put this in my dock, keep in dock because I'm using this program a lot. Again, it cleans malware too. So if you go across some websites and you know, you get a virus, this could clean that as well. And basically bring your Mac back to new. So let's go to system junk. Let's go to scan this as well. Oh my God. So it scanned for system junk is already in progress. So this does run in the background too. So it tells you how to optimize your Mac, which is awesome as well. Photo junk, you can scan there as well. Mail attachments, iTunes junk, trash. So again, you can scan your trash. But anyways, that's the entire clean up sex. Let's go back to smart scan and let's click on run over here to actually get rid of this junk. Some applications should be quit and now they are quit. All right, so look at this, guys. You might type your password to actually delete some stuff that you don't need. So I'm going to do that. I just changed my password. Okay, there you go. I made it smaller. All right, and just like that, we are done. And now you can go ahead and go to these malware removal too. So go ahead and scan that as well if you have any malware viruses that you got and it's annoying you. And there you go. We are clean, just like that. I like the little chime it gives every time it finds something or it fixes something. So let's go ahead and hit scan on this too for privacy. And there we go. Looking for privacy items. Your Mac keeps a list of all networks you've earlier connected to and connects to them automatically. Keep in mind that these include unsecure open Wi-Fi hotspots. Consider removing them from the preferred networks list so that you'll remain secure. So you can go through these if you want to as well. But I'm going to go to optimization and look at view 54 items. So first off, when your Mac starts up, it loads up all these applications that you have installed and that really slows down and bogs down your computer. So to fix this, you go to login items over here and disable or enable which items you want to actually open up automatically when you turn on your Mac. So like this one right here, I don't need that. So I'm going to remove it just like that. It'll remove it from my startup list. Review remaining items. Let's see what else I don't need. I like better snap tool. I'm gonna keep clean my Mac flux. I like losing that too. All right, and looks like we are good to go over there. Let's go to launch agent, see what's over here. And I love how it gives a description on everything so you know exactly what to do. Mostly these are small satellite applications of other software products that you have. They broaden the functionality of the main product, but in some cases you may consider removing or disabling them. So all of these are disabled for me, so I'm good to go over there. And we are good over there. Let's go to maintenance and see what we could do over here. So let's view all tasks. We could free up RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and check that. 
free up purgeable space, run maintenance scripts. I'm not gonna flush DNS cache, I don't need to do that, but just gonna speed up mail, re-index spotlight so spotlight search will be quicker, repair disk permissions, actually I'm gonna leave that alone, and hit run. So again, next to all these options, it does give a description of what it does, so if you are not sure as to what it does, you can go ahead and read the description and decide if you want to go ahead and run some maintenance on it. But yeah, my computer has been having trouble with RAM when I have a bunch of applications open or a bunch of tabs. It really slows down more than usual, so this is great. And boom. All right, we are good to go. Your Mac should now run smoother. Awesome, okay, so there's also an uninstaller. Now, before I use an app called App Cleaner, but with this, it's so much better as it does remove more files and stuff like that. So when you remove an app, you are actually removing all of its files as opposed to just the main app. All the background files, all the cache and stuff of the app that you don't need anymore. So this actually does show more apps than in the applications folder in Finder, which is crazy. So let's say I don't want PyCharm, okay? So I'm gonna go and click on this. All I gotta do is click on uninstall and it will remove all the associated files with it. And look at that, 431 megabytes clean. So that's the entire app, all of its files. Let's go back. And again, you can see which apps you don't use. So you can go through here, through the unused section and uninstall from there. And leftovers, so you guys can see there's a bunch of leftover crap from other applications. But this is barely taking up any space, so I'm just gonna leave that alone, 32-bit. So this is really cool too, so you can see 32-bit applications. And you could choose by vendor, so Apple, Microsoft, Adobe, these are all Adobe products right here. So it's nice to be able to sort them out like that as well. Now if you go to Updater, always get the latest and most reliable versions of all your applications. So let's go ahead and see what this does, view all updates. And I have an update for macOS Mojave, iMazing, Impactor, Final Cut Pro, Game Capture HD, and also CyberDuck. So it really shows you every update that is available so you can keep all your apps up to date using this one program. So I'm gonna update iMazing for example. I'm just gonna click on update and it will find the update files. And I like this, look in the dock, like the little windshield wipers moving on the dock. I just think that's so cool. I don't know how they animated that. So it's updating and I don't know how it works. It's like magic. So let's go to extension while waiting and let's view all the extensions so you can stay in control of all types of your system extensions, including widgets, plugins, dictionaries, and other items. Remove extensions correctly. So you can see Spotlight plugins. So iWork import for Spotlight, iBook. I saw any, any of these. So I didn't know I had these installed, but I have them. So it's just gonna slow down my Spotlight search. Let's go to remove those and let's go back and let's see what else we could do. Let's see Safari extensions. So I have Honey. I do use that occasionally, so I'm gonna leave that there. Preference pane, Java control panel. I never use Java, so let's go back. And just like that, we have got rid of it. So I hate getting those Java pop-ups, because I never really use it. And look at these internet plugins. We got Unity, Shockwave. So you can remove any one of these that you guys don't use, but I'll be a little bit careful with those. Let's go to files, space lens. What is this? Get a visual size comparison of your folders, files, for quick tidying up. So you can see your basically file system and what's taking up space, I think. Yeah, I think this is like the program Omni Disk Sweeper, which lets you see what's really taking up space on your Mac, like your own files, like if you have a big video file. You can go ahead and see what's taking up space and remove it from your Mac. This frees up a ton of space. Okay, and here we are. So I could see exactly what's taking up space. So I go to app case, for example, double click on there. This interface is so cool. So I could see that Xcode is taking up a lot of space. So I don't really use that anymore. So I'm gonna go to remove it just like this and remove. So the thing I like about this app or program is that it's so easy to use. All right, while we're waiting, let's just go to the updater and still updating over there. Let's go back to space lens. You could do multiple things at once, which is awesome. Let's go to large and old files. So locate large files and folders you did not open for months. So it's gonna scan that. And boom, just like this, look at this. We got so many files that I've never opened and never used. And most of these are like videos, so yeah. I could go and remove these. You can see I have movies worth like five gigabytes and other stuff, so that's crazy. Shredder, erase any unwanted files and folders quickly without leaving a trace. Erase sensitive data securely. So let's go to select files. And if there's something that won't delete, you could delete it from here and it will absolutely shred it so you don't have to deal with it again. Okay, and there you have it guys. Everything has completed. So my apps have been updated 
My Mac has been sped up. I have removed unnecessary junk, added protection to my computer, and also removed any malware or viruses, if any. This program is the complete package and it is 100% worth it. And just like that, you can also have it run in the background and look at all the stuff that it tracks. So it checks your CPU, your battery, what's taking up the most battery on your computer. So now it's a screen flick to record my screen. And you can see how much space is available, how much RAM or memory is available, your network speed, so you can test the speed right there. This thing has everything. It's really pretty crazy, all that this offers in this one package. And there you have it, guys. Clean My Mac X is a great program. This is the Hackspot. Peace. Lately I went missing with no permission, it's part of it I've been working harder than competition from start of it Now they looking at me, I see them all through the rear view Kill yourself to get your spot, then they die to be near you They think that I made it, cause I made it past them They were never the target, my target is past